Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Code With Me. So before going to the core part of this video, request you to kindly subscribe the video for further notification. So if I upload any video, it will surely get a personalized notification so that in that way you will not miss miss any of my video. So let's back, let's come back to the business friends. In this session of Java programming language, we'll be discussing about another interesting topic of Java programming language that is variables. Type it and type it down to your friends. Java, there are two of variable friends that is instance variables, which is also called as object variables, and local variables. So friends, what is the difference between instance variables or local object variables and local variables? Friends? One thing to keep that in mind, friends, the, the major difference between this instance, instance or object variables and local variables is instance variables or local object variables, it is declared inside, I'm sorry, inside the class. And coming to the local variable, friends, it is declared only inside the methods. This is the major difference between instance variables and local variables. Instance variables is declared inside the class, whereas the local variable is declared inside the methods. So friends, for further clarity, if you want to know the difference between the instance variables and the local variables in programmatic fashion, let me, do, uh, let me write a sample program for you. So that will have the clear understanding the difference between the instance variables and the local variables. So I'm taking it down friends. If you want to note it down, you should to kindly pause the video and please note down the, all the points that I have entered. So I'm taking this down. So first I'll create a program the instance of instance or object variables. So I usually start with the same old public. As I'm sorry, main class followed by the syntax public static void main followed by string arguments. Here, what I will do, friends, going to the instance variables, obviously instance variables and object variables so coming to the instance friends instance is nothing but an objects which is uh, also called as objects so friends if i want to create an object variables i have to ensure that i have to create objects if i create an object so keep that in mind friend that object is creating for some other class so that 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 class which i'm creating objects for will be accessible from the main class for better clarity friends do one thing that is Create a new class. Class doc. Okay, friends. In this, uh, uh, inside this, uh, in, uh, inside the doc class, I declare three variables: string, name, string, breathe, and followed by int. A sample example I'm giving. So, friends. Now clearly observe here, friends. Now you can clearly observe that I have declared these variables strings. I'm sorry, string, string and int. I mean the name, breed, and cost inside the class rather than a method. I know that I have explained the string as a object in the class, but here inside the class, I'm declaring variable as name. What I'll do, friends? I'll so since the operating system does not execute the doc class, so I have to code something inside the main class such a way that that code should be accessible to the doc class. What should I do? Same variable, I create a object doc class. Doc D followed by the new constructor which used to create an object and followed by the doc class. So parameters, what I will do friends? Here the object handler that I have used here it is so from this particular object handler D, I'll try to access this, I'll try to give the 
particular name to this variable how should i give it friends b dot name equals let me give the bulldog okay and i try to access the grid variable d dot b equals uh let me guess german shepherd and, and the last cost uh let me give you let me give you 10000 friends for better clarity what i will do try to print the variables whether the variable successfully initialize the values or not i'll try to print it out system dot book dot print ln using copy so inside it here i'll display the particular that you declared d dot name followed by d dot breed and followed by d dot cost so when I execute the program friends you can clearly observe here that the variables which i have declared outside the main class which is called as dog class is accessible to the main class so friend this is called as object variables object now you can clearly observe here friends these variables i have not declared inside a method i have declared inside the class so this is called as object variables so you can clearly observe here string string name and followed by string read and int cost these are all the variables are declared in the dog class in the sense friends these variables name read and cost is accessible only to the dog class it has nothing to do with the main class um but i have accessed the variables of the dog class inside the main class because since the operating system execute only the main class so i have accessed via an object this is called as instance variables in other words also called as object variables this is how you declare initialize and execute instance variables in java so friends and one more thing friends you have to clearly observe here when you when you try to initialize a value to the instance variable you have to ensure that the object handler should be initialized also d dot name i forgot with the bulldog when you try to print the d dot name you can see clearly see here bulldog german shepherd and the cost so this is called as this is, so this is instance variables and object variables this is how to declare and initialize value to it okay friends so if you want to note down this program i request you to kindly pause the video and note down the program friends and this is a important program for the better clarity of instance and object variables on so friends now let's talk about another program that is local variables let's get on a sample program so friends what i will do same way as i'll declare a main class here public class main for reference this added two spaces this zero out and follow the syntax public static void main string arguments friends you can clearly see here public static void main is a method inside a main class so what happens inside this method public static void main i'll declare a variable int so friends this int variable that declared inside the public static void main it is accessible only inside that method okay friends this is the difference between local variables and global variables now listen friends i'll try to initialize a value to in the same section only i equals 10. okay friends now, now let's see now i'll try to print the variable when i execute the program friends and i can clearly observe here it is showing 10 that means sense the print friends that i have successfully initialized the value and executed the local variable 
the only difference between the instance variables and local variables friends instance variable is declared inside the class and local variables displayed inside the methods so this is difference between instance variables and local variables so friends the session ends here if you have any doubt regarding the instance variables and local variables request you to kindly pin down your confusions in the comment section i will definitely reply you back and if you like this video kindly please like and subscribe and share this video so friends have a nice time happy coding have a nice life